Fact Daddy Doug here, and I'm gonna talk about the big one. This is an EV company that's gonna be bigger than the Nikola IPO. This is a company that um, is bigger than Shell or Hillion Trucks, which I'm a huge fan of. This is gonna be bigger than that Chinese Neo company that Robinhood investors love, but it's complete junk. Um, this is basically gonna make the rivalry of Apple and Microsoft happen, but for Tesla and this company. Um, the guy who is the founder of this company is basically the 21st century version of Steve Jobs mixed with John DeLorean. Um, the, this guy also is known for building the first BMW, designing the BMW X5. He designed the BMW Z8, and if you haven't seen one, they made 5,700 of them, and they're all in museums. Um, he, he designed the Aston Martin V8 Vanquish, the Aston Martin uh, DB9, um, the Tesla Model S, and I'll get into that in a little bit, and also the Fisker Karma, and if you're not familiar with that car, I'm gonna talk about that. Um, and he's also designed a dozen other beautiful cars. Guys, please subscribe. Every subscription counts. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers here as a brand new channel in order to get monetized and in order to provide you guys the best video entertainment and experience. Okay, but let's get started. So there's a rumor out there that a deal is gonna be struck between Fisker Automotive, which is the company that I'm talking about, with a, with a, a special acquisition company called Spartan Energy Acquisition, ticker symbol as SPAQ, SPAC, which is interesting because it's talking about SPAC stocks. Um, there are a lot of people closely involved who are saying this is gonna happen. So the deal is gonna be a $2 billion deal. As of right now, the SPAC has raised $552 million from this IPO. Um, so we don't know. As of early as next week, there could be a letter of intent or a possible acquisition. Either way, the stock is gonna go up. A little bit about the new company Fisker, and there's a lot online to read about it, but it's gonna be a luxury SUV um, called the Ocean, and it's gonna be by the Fisker brand of the car company. Um, it's expected to go into production in the year 2022 uh, with a starting price of 37,500. Now really, this is gonna be the competitor right to the Model Y, and uh, Fisker right, went right in and said, hey, we're not gonna build anything that's gonna grab people's attention. We're just gonna go for the bread and butter, the car is gonna make all the money, and people buy crossovers. Um, and everything. So they're going to plan to make money. They just had their first round of financing last week and that got approved. And that money's going to be going towards uh, engineering of the ocean. It was for $50 million. Um, so it looks like the engineering work is being done. So I guess phase two, which is going to be this IPO and hopefully SPAC, uh, SPAC ticker SPAC, SPAQ, um, is going to be going into the money apparently for funding of building the vehicle. So production. So they got to find a factory, build a factory, they gotta get all the machinery and tooling for the factory. Um, they need to uh, get a supply chain, get the parts, um, get everything in working order, it, and hire all their employees. It's not gonna be an easy task. So, you know, it does make sense at this stage right now, so they have the engineering, so in two years out, they can build this factory and have the production of this vehicle. Uh, so that looks look like it's gonna happen, with hopefully with this model, with the, uh, the Fisker Karma. Um, you know, it was a car made in 2011, 2012. They made about 1,800 models before going out of business, unluckily going out of business. Um, it cost about $100,000, about the price of a, of a Tesla Model S. And this is right before the Tesla Model S came out. So like EVs were kind of like, oh, what's an EV, you're driving that? But it was still a beautiful car. Um, it was just had so many issues, not so many, but had so many, I guess, bad things happen to us. So first they had like a government loan that they didn't hit a couple milestones and they didn't have the funding from that. Then they were plagued with a few battery packs um, during their first few cars that caught fire. Um, and then Hurricane Sandy destroyed an entire shipment of these things coming in into New Jersey. And just between all that, they lost so much money that they went out of business. Um, and it's really unfortunate because they have a big following. Uh, and there's a guy actually down in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who uh, takes these cars and does a bunch of the repairs that need to be done with the battery packs and such. And actually, I think he might have worked for Fisker, but he goes and he resells these cars with a warranty, which is kind of like unheard of for such a, a low volume vehicle. Um, but it's just so gorgeous. I mean, I always thought about buying one myself. Um, and additionally, like a Chinese company purchased the patents and the rights to the vehicle itself and they moved out to California and they're reproducing these cars. Um, the cars are costing more money and in my opinion that from what I've heard, it, the quality of materials, I guess just because it's such a low production volume, 
uh, car. It's not as good as the original Fisker, but they're still around. You can still buy them. Um, and I want to talk about Tesla for a second. So Henrik Fister was hired by Elon Musk to design the Tesla Model S. So Elon Musk, uh, so Fisker you know, starts designing this car, he designs it, and then um, Elon Musk realizes, hey, you have your own car company. And he's like, yeah, I do. I'm designing my own car. Um, and then you know Elon Musk fired him and then sued him. And he said, you know, Henrik Fister made an inferior product for me, uh, and he sued him for all this money, and then, you know, he brought him to court, and then Henrik Fisker actually won the lawsuit, and Elon Musk had to pay him a million dollars for this car. Um, so he he claimed that he stole the parts of the design of the Model S and put it into his car. We don't know the full story. We also don't know the full story of how much he designed into the Model S because he you know, refuses to acknowledge how much was built into it. Um, so it's kind of just very interesting. Uh, also, you know, this stock I'm really excited for, and I think it has a lot more upside than downside, but there are going to be a few risks with this if you decide to go in to this. So if the deal does not get through, I mean, this is just not going to be good for the SPAC itself. Um, but remember that SPAC stocks have a value of $10. So if the SPAC, if the deal does not go through, the most you can lose is the, the SPAC will be worth $10 still. Um, but I, my opinion has a lot more upside. Uh, I mean, this thing can get bigger than the Nikola IPO that happened, you know, a couple months ago. Um, but as more comes out about this agreement, I'm going to make more videos about it. So please subscribe uh, and help this channel.